Hey, we've got uh, Jackson Murphy, our favorite movie reviewer, on our Zoom call today. Man, we got to find some good movies. There's a lot of new things out. How are you, Jackson? I'm doing well. Yes, big weekend ahead. Oh, uh, you are ready. You are ready like nobody's business for Space Jam, aren't you? <laughs> Ooh, I enjoyed watching this movie in the theater. Warner Brothers was nice enough to set up a screening at Colony for me last week because I also interviewed director Malcolm D. Lee. So they wanted me to see the movie beforehand. Glad I did. There's a lot of LeBron in this movie. If you're not a LeBron fan, you probably should skip Space Jam and New Legacy. But uh, it's LeBron and the Looney Tunes together. They got to face off against Don Cheadle and his evil crew in a basketball game when a ton of other Warner Brothers iconic characters show up. And the highlights are those visual effects and the animation, the CG animation on the Looney Tunes characters and the gorgeous hand-drawn 2D. Seeing them on the big screen, fantastic. This is also on HBO Max. I think it'll do well in both places. Okay, but you're, re you're recommending the big screen on that one. Yes, if you want to experience the animation and the big basketball, and if you are a LeBron fan, you will love the fact that he is in it a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I love Anthony Bourdain, uh, but there's a documentary about his life out this week too, right? Right, Roadrunner, a film about Anthony Bourdain, directed by Morgan Neville, Oscar winner for 20 Feet from Stardom, also did the Fred Rogers documentary, Won't You Be My Neighbor, a couple of years ago. I think this is Neville's best film because we are absolutely engrossed in the final 20 years of Anthony Bourdain's life. It shows us who he was, how he treated people, how he felt about just about everything. We get a ton of footage behind the scenes of his culinary global travels, but also we get opinions from the people closest to him, but they don't really celebrate Bourdain. They just tell it like it is. It's really unique and different in that sense and also gutsy in some of the things that Neville does, especially towards the end of the movie. It's a heavy film. It's a difficult film with some of the subject matter and going into Bourdain's suicide in 2018. It's a tough movie. I think fans of his are going to be surprised by it, but one of the strongest emotionally uh, documentaries of 2021 so far, and okay. that's in theaters. Okay, and there's a, a new action movie on Netflix this week. Yeah, Gunpowder Milkshake. It's on there right now. It's basically a John Wick copycat in a lot of ways, which is really too bad. It can't find its own voice. Karen Gillan plays a woman who has to protect an eight and three quarter year old girl. And uh, they're being chased by bad guys with guns and they can't be protected at all. And there's outrageous action, really dumb, really just dumb dialogue and <laughs> characters. And one of those movies that doesn't have a lot to say. So in the end, it just feels like an exercise. It's like, okay, that happened. Let's move on with our lives. So that's unfortunately the case for Gunpowder Milkshake on Netflix. All right. Now there's a really creepy looking one out this week too. Well, yeah. Okay. Escape Room Tournament of Champions is in theaters now. This is the sequel to the 2019 thriller Escape Room, which I saw and is all about the popularity of escape rooms and these people go into the most insane ones ever created. So mild spoiler of the first movie, a couple make it out of, alive at the end of the first. And guess what? They get, get sucked back into this world in this second one and they got to go through more escape rooms oh, and they face off against that. They, they have to be with other people who have also previously gone through some escape rooms so that's why it's a tournament of champions who will make it out alive will people actually care enough to see this movie we will find out this weekend all right and there's an <laughs> animated thing on netflix this week that's new right Correct. It comes out this Wednesday, July 21st, Troll Hunters Rise of the Titans. This is the grand conclusion to the Tales of Arcadia saga of television series that have been on Netflix for several years, animated shows from Guillermo del Toro. I talked with executive producer Mark Guggenheim, who is a UAlbany grad. Woo! Awesome to chat with him. Uh, that Q&A is up at animationscoop.com. We get into this movie, the grand finale, his feelings about it working with Guillermo del Toro some of the animated sequences in it the movie premieres on Wednesday go to animationscoop.com for that Q&A all right Jackson Murphy our favorite movie reviewer uh now next week I'm going to be on vacation so is there anything that we should be watching for next week Next Friday, July 23rd, starts season two of Ted Lasso on Apple TV+. Plus. It just earned 20 Emmy nominations the wow. other day for season one, which I loved. I really like this second season so far. I've seen the first six of the 12 episodes. It's a little different, though. It's a little more dramatic and all about relationships, but it's still very, very good. All right, Jackson, where do people find all your information and your reviews? 
Twitter at LCJ Reviews, Instagram at Lights Cam Jackson, and the website is lights-camera-jackson.com. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a great weekend. Space Jam it is. There you go. See you soon, Randy. Thanks. Bye. Bye.